So life lesson one is about raising babies. A lot of lessons there. Um, and uh, in the spring and summer, Greenwood is super, super busy. We, 70% um, of the animals we get at Greenwood and we get 4,000 per year are wild orphan babies. So every year we release about 700 songbirds, up to 300 waterfowl and shorebirds, about 50, or 60, um, 50 to 60 raccoons, and uh, about 200 squirrels. And so in the spring and the summer, we are super busy. Uh, at any given day, there could be up to 500 animals at the center. Um, raising babies is a delight and a joy, of course, but uh, not, we not only raise the present generation, the, num the numbers I just quoted, we also raise future generations because every baby we save potentially can reproduce, which they wouldn't do, of course, if we didn't, if we didn't uh, save them. So um, we're working on the present generation and on generations to come. So the impact that Greenwood has is really, really enormous. So I want to read a story from this chapter and it is called, it's about a very special duckling and it's called Duck Mother. Duck Mother. There once was a tiny mallard duckling. She was born very early in spring and was found alone no siblings or mom around. She arrived at Greenwood in April when no other ducklings had yet been sighted and came to me for home care. I have a little barn and an outside enclosure with a swimming pool on my property where I raise orphan ducklings until they are ready to live at Greenwood until release. Luna, my first guest of the season, was underweight and depressed. Next to food and water, what a baby duckling needs most are other ducklings and the soft body of her mom to keep her warm and safe. Luna only had a mirror in which appeared an adorable duckling. Sadly, that body was cold, flat, and wouldn't cuddle. Being lonely and depressed, Luna didn't eat much. I tried everything I could think of, putting food in her bed, her drinking water, and her swimming pool. I also let her swim in my large kitchen sink and saw to my delight that she packed the food that was floating on the water. Still, she spent most of her day staring at the duckling in the mirror. About 10 days later, Greenwood received a group of nine ducklings that had never seen their mother. A predator had killed her while she was still incubating her eggs. The babies that hatched shortly after were brought to Greenwood and then came to me. Luna was ecstatic. The little ones toddled around in the cage and soon fell asleep, using Luna as a pillow. From day one, it was absolutely clear that Luna was the baby's new mom. She was a lot bigger by then, and the little ones just followed her wherever she went. At night, they crawled under her belly to sleep. Luna, still a youngster herself, accommodated as many as she could. I so enjoyed watching her grow into her role as a mother to the orphans. She made sure everyone got to eat, she herded them to the pool, and watched them while they swam. When the babies slept, Luna often just sat sat and looked at them as I observed her from a distance. One day, she looked straight at me and briefly closed her eyes just for a moment and opened them again. That slow blink was so reassuring, as if she were telling me, duck mother to duck mother, that everything was okay. And it was. All these ducklings were thriving and soon went back to Greenwood they were eventually released on a nearby pond. The kids burst out of their bins, ready to take on their new world. Luna, however, calmly surveyed the scene. Then she swam off slowly, in the lead as always, followed by her adopted children. I was happy for Luna and confident that she would make a living in the wild. But I was also sad, knowing that I would most likely never see her again. 
our paths were diverging as they must. However, Luna left numerous gifts, precious lessons in resilience and patience, humility and grace. She fought the odds against survival and won. As a result, she was able to take care of others that needed her, orphans like her, and became a duck mother long before she was biologically able to be one. Luna didn't do any heroic deeds, but she did a simple job with utmost commitment and dedication. She didn't save the world, she just took care of a bunch of ducklings. And so, in a way, Luna did exactly what all of us at Greenwood are trying to do, to return orphans and injured wild animals to the wild, and thereby make our world just a little bit richer, a little bit kinder. Thank you. So please help Greenwood raise babies by purchasing A Place to Heal through the Amazon link. All of the proceeds support the care of orphaned wildlife at the center.